You're watching EVH and Gear TV, brought to you by Stuart Travel Guitars. See the incredible stowaway travel guitar at StuartGuitars.com. Microphones for EVH and Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones. And official Van Halen merchandise is provided by VanHalenStore.com. Here's your host from Ontario, Canada, EVH artist Eric Broadbent. Hey everyone, happy Friday evening to you. Welcome to EVH and Gear TV. We are live for an unscheduled broadcast because we have now moved our shows to Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. But we're doing some testing here tonight and are testing out some live Helix presets with you. I hope everyone is well that's going to be tuning in here throughout the program. And um, I thought, what better way to test out some things other than doing it live with you? I like to do that. Either I'll fall flat on my face or we'll have a successful show or a great show. And uh, that's we're hoping for the latter part of that. We're hoping for some great stuff this evening. And I'm noticing that my mic level is weak. Let's test that. Okay, we're getting better there. One second. Okay. Shekius and Ladybugger jumping in. Nocturnal Butterfly is here as well, too. Let me know if everyone in the chat can hear me. Okay, R2 is here. Stephen uh, Naismith is here. Naismith. And, uh, yeah, thank you, R2. Uh, saying what's happening, everyone. Happy anniversary, Eric and Sandra Lee. It is our 15th anniversary today, and uh, we're spending <laughs> together. We, we're here 24-7 together. I work from home, and uh, we're, we're inseparable. We're here all, to, all together all the time, and uh, we're uh, an Internet family as well, too, so we're celebrating online tonight as well, too. We have a great day so far. Um, so yeah, everything is, uh, we're moving some things around. Our internet, uh, is back working hundred percent. I just shot a video earlier today. I'm going to upload it tonight after this video is done. Uh, this live stream is done, I should say. And it's, uh, it's kind of a, uh, a feedback from my last two rant videos I did kind of ranting about the poor service we had from our internet service provider. And I promised them once they fix the problem, if they did that after I've had a, you know, several days or a, a good week or two to use the service post fix I would do uh, you know a positive review a positive shout out and that's exactly what I did and that's going to go up it's all done I'm, I'm going to upload it right after the show here but uh, in the next few days um, it could be even as early as tonight I don't even know um, I've been accepted to sell on the line six uh, marketplace and if you're not familiar with a marketplace marketplace is a, is a spot on line six website where you can pay for premium uh, presets for you know everything from you know, Helix products uh, to, you know, impulse responses and things like that. And they have a section on the website, which is called Custom Tone. And you can go in there and you can download all the things you want for free. I've got some patches up there on Custom Tone for both Stomp, HX Effects, and Line 6 Helix. But, uh, you know, st and there's hundreds, maybe even possibly thousands of presets on Custom Tone. And it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. Uh, the good thing is, you know, someone can buy a Helix, come home that day, and they can go on there and spend the, the entire weekend, you know, downloading all their favorite artists, you know, like Edge from the U2 or Eddie Van Halen or, you know, whoever, George Lynch or whoever your artist is you want to sound like and play like, you download those presets. But, you know, the, the negative to that, if you want to say it's a small negative, is the fact that... Um, you know, some may be great, some may be questionable, some could be, you know, created by a Helix user that just got their, you know, their Helix the same day. Nothing wrong with that, right? You know, we, we encourage people to create and share and all that kind of stuff, which is awesome. But with Marketplace, it's cut down drastically. There's only a few sellers on there right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to venture a guess of maybe five to six. And it's also a very a big pressure thing for me as well, too, because, you know, some of this, the uh, I'm just going to fiddle with my in-ear monitors. Please forgive me. I'm using in-ears tonight. So um, the, when I play some stuff tonight, I really want the sound of my reference monitors and my headphones just don't cut it. These in-ears are a little bit closer. So I'm using those tonight, even though they don't stay in my ears properly. Um, can't hear the, oh, okay. Yeah, Gary's got the compressor. I thought he was talking about my compressor. Um, the pressure's on me on Marketplace because I've, we've got Jason Sedites on there. We've got Glenn DeLon, uh, Ben Vesco. Um, I'm trying to think who else is on there. Those are the three that ring a bell right off the, the get-go. And those guys make great presets. I haven't listened to any of Ben's stuff, to be honest with you, as far as his presets. Well, yes, I have. I've listened to some of his videos, and he does some really good tributes to artists. Glenn I know very well, and, of course, Jason. I love Jason's stuff uh, to death. So uh, I've been second-guessing myself a lot, which I tend to do a lot in life. Um, you know, I, I, you know, if I'm recording something or, you know, I was like, okay, when do I walk away from these things? So that's been the, the case with my Helix presets. And I've 
just about ready to walk away from them. I've got, um, so I'm going to be releasing a three pack. It's going to be three presets within one pack. It's called Eddie Van Halen Complete. And it's going to contain three presets. One is called Pasadena Proud, which gives you, you know, the old Van, uh, Eddie Van Halen Plexi. Do I have it on here? <laughs> to go over the lead channel so that's that that's one of it that's one of the presets right now oh gary holt sent a, a super chat thank you so very very much gary appreciate that buddy um i'm gonna give you a little bit of a sound sample what these things do so f- before i play anymore there's three presets so van halen uh pasadena proud will give you the old plexi sound van halen you know the entry level uh first debut record through pretty much get right up to fair warning maybe even uh uh you know 84 <laughs> Okay, that kind of stuff so all that kind of stuff then we go into van halen driving 55 which will give you um all of the sammy hagar era pretty much everything from you know um oh you wait one two through balance 5150 you know variations now eddie's tone did change a lot during that era but the big thing was, you know, wet, dry, wet, that kind of stuff. And then we're going to get into modern Van Halen. And this is really funny. This is, this is kind of a, a, a question or just a statement I'm going to make to the guitar players here, especially the ones that follow Eddie's tone here. And, and probably mo- a, a lot of the people in the chat that are guitar players will be um, that guy or girl because, you know, EVH, that's the name of the channel, right? So you're probably following Eddie Van Halen. Over the past 10 plus years, 15 years, I've described this tone that Eddie has, especially with his new 5150s and anything that's been a super, super high gain, even with the 5150, not necessarily so much with the PV5150, the first generation, but the second generation, the 5152. Um, and then, of course, the EVH gear line in the 5153s. He's had a tone. I call it, the I, 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 sound, I think it sounds like a half-cocked wah. Now, I have a wah on right now. Okay, let me actually, let me change the preset for a second. And I want to show you what I want to what I want to do here with a wah, just to give you an idea. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take my wah and I'm just gonna engage it a little tiny bit. Bring it about there. Somewhere in that neighborhood, Eddie's tone sounds like that. Now, it, over this past series of uh, tours, records. Over the past, anything, anything live, even since 1998 even, okay? So, of course, he's using uh, the PVs and things like that back then, too. But listen to his live tone, and it sounds like a half-cocked wah. So you got a wah engaged somewhat. It, I think it comes from one of two things. It comes from either two, he's been using a wah a lot more now in his uh, signal chain. Ever, you, know, he, you know, he experimented in the early days with it. It kind of went away. And then later in so Sammy Hagar, obviously, you know, uh, uh, the Carnal Knowledge album with Pound Cake and things like that, uh, and a lot of different things using the wah. So number, and then he eventually ended up with his own signature wah with MXR, right? Under the EVH emblem. So this half-cocked wah thing that I talk about either comes from the wah in the, in the signal chain, and even though when it's bypassed, there's still that, there's still that frequency response that could be bleeding through, might not be 100% true bypassed, or number two, he's also been known to use EQ settings where he'll dime the mids up around, you know, seven, eight hundred hertz uh, in na- somewhere in that neighborhood, right? So it's a very, I call it a nasal tone or a half cocked wah tone. And I'll show you what two examples of that tonight. So I've embedded that into my Van Halen Modern, which is called VH, uh, actually, it's called Modern Tr- Van Halen Modern Truth. So three presets are going to be sold right away. Um, and it's going to be a very affordable package up on uh, line6.com uh, marketplace. So it's going to be very, very cool. Um, so here's a, qu- a qu- couple questions um, so that are coming through already. And I'm going to go back to the chat in a second, too, and then do some playing. And forgive me if I'm fielding with my ears. It's just these monitors are really driving me crazy, and I have to use them tonight or else I won't be able to get my, my mojo playing to the, the sound, and I'm going to suck. And I don't want to suck. 
Uh, Bill Moore says, have you done a show where you walk through your global settings? Curious to see how you're all set up. I'm pretty new here. I have not, and that's a very, very good question, Bill, and um, I have not shown my global settings, so I'll be more than happy to do that. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm planning on doing another video uh, for Helix right shortly here with a brand new one, you know, and I want to show some things on. So that would be a perfect idea to show you. Maybe I was planning on doing it not live. It was, it was going to be a produced video, but maybe I will do that. Uh, so good suggestion, and I will do that. Gary Holt saying it's uh, limiting his supercharge. Supercharge. Okay, no problem. No, yeah, there's no need for any more, buddy. That's totally fine. There's a, if if you, anybody wants to do that, there's a slider you can drag after you do it. But it, it will it usually let you do that. But I certainly don't need any more money. If, that's awesome. Let's go say hi to a bunch of people. So I mentioned earlier, Shekis is here. Ladybug is here. Stephen Nismith, as I mentioned, R two R three, Nocturnal Butterfly, my anniversary partner today. Um, thank you. Everyone's saying happy anniversary. I appreciate that. Uh, Mark Taylor is here. All these headphones are going to have to go. They're, they're going to be my, my, the death of me. They certainly are. They sound so good when I keep them in my ears, but when they pop out, they go into like this hollow, hollow, hollow. Brad Miller is here. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that, buddy. Um, and Gary scared me for a second when he says he can't hear because the compressor is so loud. I was thinking, oh, my comp do I have compression on here or something? I was like, oh, oh what am I going to do? But I forgot. That's what he does for a living with it. one of his businesses. Tactical Six String is here. Uh, so, Bill, again, uh, great question. And I'm going to do that. And I'll try my very, very best to remember that it was you that gave the uh, the idea for that. <clears throat> Pardon me. Excuse me. So, uh, thank you. Uh, Scott Connor is here. Scott Roos. Oh, Bill, Bill Moore did a super chat. $1.99. That would be awesome. Looking forward to it. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's so kind of you. Very, very nice. Um, okay, continue on. Uh, Scott Connor, I think I mentioned Scott, our good buddy. Scott joins on uh, Ladybug and uh, Nocturnal Butterfly on their, their uh, live show that they do three days a week. And Mark Taylor jumps in there quite often as well, too, kind of a regular. Quentin James, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, usually between the 10 and about 11.30 a.m. Uh, thing, which is somewhere at Eastern Standard Time, of course. It's a good, fun way to start your morning. And if you're at work, you can kind of listen with headphones and things like that. Lots of fun. And it's not exactly safe for work, so you might want to put on some headphones. But click on Nocturnal Butterflies uh, profile there, three little dots. You can go to her channel and check it out. She's got some really cool stuff for recipes and things like that as well, too. Chris Bevan is here. I just want to say hi. I'm messing with my chick tonight. No problem. Ladies come first. That's a clean channel, believe it or not, too. Okay, let's uh, let's continue down a little further. Jim Dales is here. Um, okay, I'm going to go backwards from the bottom of the chat. And I think I saw, did I see, I thought I saw Carlos Santin. I, maybe not. Carlos Santin is my one of my beta testers for these presets. I also sent them uh, to one other person here. And uh, to Brad, actually, and I forgot Brad has a stomp. So Brad is going to be my um, my stomp beta tester. And I, I can't give these to a bunch of people because, you know, obviously my, my intention is to sell them. Uh, but they're they're beta testing them for me. On, he's testing on stomp and uh, Carlo is beta testing on Helix. And he's given me some valuable feedback already, which is great. And uh, a couple things were, you know, even I, I had some room for improvement. And, uh, you know, it's nice to have an outside you know, ears coming in kind of thing, right? Okay, let's go back, see if I miss anything else. Uh, Quentin James is here. Nice, very nice. Jim Jails, good evening. Uh, Luke, 1968, I think that's what it is. Says, happy anniversary. Eric Poon Ninja is here. Brian Cote, uh, Mitch Heyman, Charles Green. Let me see here. Yeah, a coffee drinker is here, stepping out for dinner. Catch you soon, no problem, buddy. And coffee drinker and I go way back to, you know, when I first got into Helix, it's one of those things where yeah, I, I downloaded one of his presets from, from Custom Tone. It was called... Um, uh, Van Hagar is what a matter of fact what it was and that kind of inspired me to get into this whole you know Van Halen Helix kind of sound because I'm all, that's all I'm using now I'm all I'm using Helix all right uh, <laughs> oh my ears are hurting so bad uh, Matthew Nyberg says just discovered your channel love it see I, I can see these I, they don't fit my ears right but they sound good if I can just keep them in here <laughs> YouTube gave Gary Two free super chats for 99 cents, so I gave them to Eric. Uh, Jim tells you, you can say your EVH rig isn't getting much use. You, to you essentially have those tones on your helix without the overwhelming power. Yes, I have the exact tones now that I want in my head without the overwhelming power. When I when I play the live streams here and I'm using the 5150 back there mic, which still is, if I go back to my other screen, there's still a mic. You can barely see it. But there's that where my finger is exactly right there. That's a mic. It's a Rode NT1. Um, 
that's micing that cabinet. I'm still running through the mixer. I could still turn it on right now today if I wanted to, but it's a hundred watt amplifier. It gets really, really freaking loud in here to get the tone where I want. And it's, it's just not conducive for a live stream. I've got to mute my mics over here because that will blast this microphone so loud that it'll just overwhelm it. Oh, nice. Brad says he's going through the Pasadena set right now. Loving it. Oh, that's great to hear. That's great to hear. So what we're going to do is we'll try the Pasadena one here first. And oh, Keith Pass is here as well, too. Nice to have you here, Keith. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate this greatly. And like I said, this isn't our regular show anymore. For, as far as I know, uh, we're gonna. This, tomorrow's kind of a, a beta test as well, too. We've got Ethan Broch on the show. Uh, certainly a great guest, uh, beta testing <laughs> kind of the format. We're going to be moving the show to 3 p.m. Eastern on Saturdays. We were forced to at first because of our internet issues. That's fixed. But I figured, you know what? We're going to move anyways. Uh, Saturday is a less busy day. And, you know, back in the day, I kind of joke about this, but it was back in the day, which is not that long ago, a year and a half, two years ago, you know, whenever I'd get the impulse to do something like this and go live, there was nobody in the guitar community live on the air. I mean, there just wasn't. I could do it any time of the day or night. Now it's it's almost like you need an air traffic controller. It's like, Houston, you're good for t taxi on runway 465. Okay, can't take that, that runway because someone else is on it. <laughs> it's gotten very, very popular on, on YouTube, right? And that's good. More power to everybody. <coughs> Pardon me. Brad Miller says, um, I use in-ear monitors all the time since we do not have amps at church. Very cool. And I like these. I just can't keep them in my darn head. And I've used different size, um, you know, the rubber changeable things, whatever. But there's like five drivers in these things, so they sound good. And I really need that because my other regular big headphones, they're very tinny. I can't get bass response out of them. And I'm i am very much, if I hear crap in my ears, I'm going to play like crap. And I, I like to try to keep my playing at a, it, above the crap level if as much as possible. Uh, Gary Tholander says, hey, Eric, having trouble keeping my pacer in tune when I use my detune. Any suggestions? Yes. It's a very cheap device. And people might think, well, Eric, you're crazy for saying this, but, you know, shouldn't it just stay in tune right off the get-go? Yes and no. It depends on the guitar. It depends on the woods. It depends on a lot of different factors. A $25 uh, trem stopper from fu-tone.com will make you be, become your best friend. What you're going to do is you're going to put it in the back of the, uh, the cavity, and it's going to press against your block. And it's going to, even if your block is flush, like mo most of our guitar, a lot of our guitars are, Wolfgang's, all that kind of stuff. This Kramer is a flush mount, uh, Floyd Rose, at least now it is. It didn't come that way from the factory. But when you use the D tuner, you put your guitar on a tuner and try this. And uh, here again, this is like really, you know, obscure stuff. But put your guitar on a tuner and play, check your tuning, and then use a D tuner, check your tuning on a strobe tuner again, if it's strobe, if you can do that. You're going to see a sl very, very slight, you're still going to be in tune, but you're going to be semi tuned out or higher or lower. It's just because of the way that piece of steel is now, there's different tension on that bridge, and it's either pressing into the wood a little bit more or maybe not as much, and fractions of a millimeter, you know, just a hair will make a difference on a tuner. So by taking that uh, that trem stopper, you're raising your point of zero. So if we're looking like this, this is the brass block coming down. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use that trem stopper here to just elevate the bridge, not I mean, a, not even a millimeter. I don't even know what's less, half of a millimeter. I can't, you know, fr fractions of a of a spot, right? Now, no matter if your detune is engaged or disengaged, that trem is not moving anywhere. So th that is what I recommend, a $25 trim stopper. There you go. Okay. Uh, Brian says, I'm trying a new piece of streaming software now after my current streaming software started to act up. Oh, well, good luck to you, buddy. I saw that you did some tests last night. It was, I think it was past my bedtime, so I didn't get a chance to watch it. Uh, but I hope it works for you. I really do. Um, you know, I, I really hope everything goes well for you. Okay, so we're going to go back over to Pasadena Proud. So in this preset, I'm just going to go into stomp mode. So I've got the, I've the obviously the old good old uh, the old script logo MXR Phase 90. Okay. I also have let's fix the headphones one more time. You'll recognize this one. Got the MXR, the old MXR flanger. So you can use a combination of the phaser with the flanger for, for effects. Okay, we got that. Okay, so there's the phase 90. We've also got, uh, I should, okay, I'm going to take off some of these things. I'm going to make it kind of naked here. They're actually very naked. 
So you notice in the volume now is very flat. It's, uh, the volume is low. There's no reverb. So now we're just running pretty much um, a nice old one of Eddie's old Marshalls. I have an effect. I'm not going to give away all my secrets here. All right. So obviously it's I put some time into this. So that's why I'm going to be selling these presets. But I put on our very act. <laughs> Put on our reverb. Okay, then we pop on the old, the equivalent to the uh, the old blue MXR six band EQ. Now we're starting to get some more. A little bit of tape echo. And she's coming to life. Of course, okay, now we'll, we've got, uh, I've got a fat mode on here as well, too. And this is kind of a thing that I've, it's become a thing of mine where I use this a lot. And Eddie would have not used this effect back in this era in 78, 79, 80. But if you want to get Eddie's old tone and then bring it to today's kind of sound, still sound like a big plexi, but be a little bit fatter on stage. Like this. Okay, so I'm going to try a couple things here. Uh, a. Flores says, are you going to pick up a shark? No. I'm not really interested in the shark. I, I think it's going to be a great selling guitar. It's not for me, though. Um, I, I, the shark and the star are not... Um, I, don't, I can't access the 22nd fret very well on those guitars. I, I like to be able to access the 22nd fret without even thinking about it. And I find with both of those guitars, I just have, I struggle with it. Maybe I'll get one because it'll look nice here in the studio and, you know, I could do some other stuff with it. We'll see. But it's not on my immediate, I must have kind of thing. But it's a great looking guitar. I saw it at NAMM and I didn't stay at the EVH booth for very long. I was only there for about 15 minutes. So I didn't get a chance to really take it in. We were just shooting a video and then we were out of there. We had a lot of commitments. So, but a uh, good question. Um... Keith says, I have a uh, Facebook Van Halen page. Let me know if you want to go live sometime. That's, that'd be very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate the uh, the invite, and we'll check that out for sure. I'll try to find you for sure. Uh, Ron Limber is here. Let me see here. Uh, Gary Tholander. Um, let me see here. Very, very cool. Nice. This is very, very cool. Uh, Mark is also using the uh, fu uh, Futone Trem Stopper. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll try a couple songs here for a second, and then if I if the mojo is going, we'll... Uh, I'll do a little bit of an attempt at eruption. We'll give it a... T and that's one thing. Here's a little tip for you. I still can't play eruption. I've been chasing it for 40 years, trying to play it. Trying, and I've, in the past few years, I've learned some things better than others. Things I thought I had down, um, I, become, I, I had to go back to the drawing board because I found better ways to play them. Uh, things I couldn't play before, I can play now. It's really, really weird, but I still can't play the whole song in its entirety. But one of the big, big pieces of advice I can give you when it comes to that song is take your time on it. Take your time on it. I'm going to do one little passage just for a second. I'll go to the lead mode here. So the, uh, let me, am I in lead mode? No. And on my lead preset, obviously phaser comes on right away, but I'm going to take that off for a second because eruption doesn't start with the phaser. It comes engaged later. But one of the things you just have to do is just, when you think you're, th when you think you're playing eruption slow, slow it down even more because chances are you're playing it too fast because you get nervous. Like some of the picking things like this. Take your time on that. So I'm still doing a little too fast. I say always do it slower than what you think. See, I made a couple of mistakes here as well too. But that's a tricky little riff in itself, right? You know. It's like I, I find I describe that as uh, running up and, or downstairs, jumping from diagonal to diagonal because you're jumping all over the fretboard. <laughs> Alright, 
So that kind of gives you an idea of, of what that's sounding like. So I'm hoping it's translating well to you. Uh, Mitch saying sounded great to me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Defcon Clark is here. So yeah. Um, and Bill Monroe says, will these tones be available to Patreon subscribers too? Just signed up or custom tone. No, these, these ones here are not going to be available on my Patreon, but I am going to be making some custom only Patreon Van Halen presets as well too. Uh, so Bill, thank you for doing that first and foremost. Um, you'll be able to get some of my music on there as well too. And maybe tonight I might even be able to do a song for you to let you hear what you'd be in for when you get to download Depending on the tier that you went for on Patreon, you get some of my music. And I'll show you some of that as well, too. But I'm going to be making some cool Patreon-exclusive presets. I've already got a few right now that I can share with some of you. And uh, there will be ones that won't be on Custom Tone ever. So there are the exclusives that people will be getting uh, through Patreon as well. These ones are going to be the premium ones, though, unfortunately, on uh, Line 6 Marketplace because I've spent pretty much the course of about a month working on these. So there's a lot of man hours invested. Not so much in creating the presets is uh, there's hours invested, but there's the hours invested after that are the testing and, you know, feedback from other people and things like that and assembling, you know, research and development, all that kind of fun stuff. So good. Yeah. All right. Let's try it. Let's try a song here. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. We'll jump back to the rhythm channel. Make sure we got the phase 90 on for lead. We're going to jump back to rhythm and I'll try to balance uh, my volumes here for the, uh, the song and, of course, the guitar. Let's give it a try. Get rid of that hiss of this mic. From Texas Rideshare, thank you.
Okay, I'm seeing some good feedback in the chat. So thank you. It's sounding pretty good. I really, I really appreciate that. Thanks so much. Summer Nam, we'll talk about that in just a second as well. go how did that sound let's go back over and uh see what we got here as well too so texas right here great tone and there was a question what was it um mitch Heyman says uh sounds absolutely awesome eric thank you i appreciate that um they sound just like the album that's from texas right here thank you that's what we're going for we're, we're going well yes and no we're going for the album and the latter eras of these presets that i'm making there i'm going for the live tone the um the, the, the Sammy Hagar era will be a lot like the album, all the albums that they did. But the modern Van Halen called Modern Truth, it's going more for Eddie's live tone, which really changed. His tone changed. Or like we're talking different kind of truth and all that tour, um, even right back to Van Halen 3. Eddie had a very super, super, super high gain uh, sound. And he also had more of that nasal mid-range tone, as I've kind of called it like a half cocked wah. So let me see. Let's go back, go to the very bottom. We'll come backwards a little bit. Uh, Gary Tholander sounded great. R2 says, sounding phenomenal. Thank you. Uh, I'm really, really pleased with these these results. Thank you. Ed B says, good too. Wall in the box. This is great. Um, okay, this is a very good question from Riot, Texas Ride Chair. says, how does the attack feel with Helix? Obviously, the tone is amazing here. Right now, I feel like I'd, I'd be 100% truthful to you. I'm using in-ear monitors, which aren't comfortable to me at the moment. Uh, now... If I was to mute my microphone and play through my big speakers and crank them up, 
I feel like I'm playing through a, a mic'd four twelve. I really, really do. I feel like I'm so basically what I'm hearing right now is the equivalent of a mic'd four twelve. And literally, the model in Helix I'm using is a four twelve cabinet, and I've got a uh, you know fifty seven mic right on the cabinet as well too. So it feels just like I'm listening through a mic'd um, four twelve cabinet. So very, very cool. And please, please forgive me for fooling with my ears here. <laughs> Just trying to push them in. I'm gonna have very, very sore ears at the end of the evening. So let's move into um, let's move into some of the. Uh, it's called Van Halen Driving 55, and uh, that's that's probably these presets are done now. So I'm sure I'm not gonna be changing anything. I wanted to come up with a creative name for something that would cover a lot of the uh, the balance and you know. Okay, let's joke back from there. Okay. Now this is actually there's three presets to this one. I should no, I should not say that. Not three presets, three snapshots. And this the first one will start off on clean. And if I play something right now, you're gonna say, Eric, that doesn't sound clean. But it is for Eddie. Eddie does not really play to clean very, very often. If he does, it's on purpose. It'll either be DI'd in the studio or, you know, various Telecasters and Stratocasters and things, whatever he's going for in the studio will get even cleaner. But what he's known for um, is using a, a lot of times, especially during the Sammy Hagar era, and I'm sure you could, people argue and say, well, he uses Kramer 5150 for a lot of stuff uh, in the, uh, you know, OU812 and, of course, 5150 album. Yes, but a lot of times he started getting into, when he got into the Ernie Ball Music Man and the PV Wolfgang, and, of course, which ch turned into the, you know, EVH gear Wolfgang, he had two pickups, and he plays in the middle position a lot. And forget about that, even if he's not using two pickups, he'll be playing on a channel like this. <laughs> And he'll roll his volume back a lot. And the listen to much this will clean up. For That's a clean channel that will it can it can get gainy, but at the same time you roll it back and it sounds beautiful with a Wolfgang. Now keep in mind this is another thing I should have said too from the early onset too. The guitar I'm playing right now, this Kramer Pacer, it uses a Duncan JB in the back, and JB is a very very common pickup for a lot of people. So this was the guitar I used to write these presets uh, because I wanted to have a kind of a common denominator that a lot of people have, and you know why not use something that's common out there. But I did a lot of testing on some Stratocasters. I've done some testing on SGs. And the sweet spot is with Wolfgangs. So I'll, you know, I'm not saying you have to have a Wolfgang or this guitar or anything like that to sound. I'd, I'd be lying and trying to push you in a direction where you do not have to go. I'm just saying that on a Wolfgang guitar, uh, they sound really, really good, especially when you get into that middle position and it cleans up nice. And obviously, a lot of people here watching this show and people that will be buying these presets, they're buying them for a reason because they want to sound like Eddie Van Halen they're probably going to have a Wolfgang guitar in their arsenal of some sort, whether it be the Ernie Ball or PV or EVH through Fender. Um, so very, very cool. So yeah, okay, oh, some Drop Dead Legs. That's one I don't know very well, Gary, to be honest with you. I don't. <laughs> very very well but so here's an example now we're in uh, so that's the best I can do for you I'm sorry I never did learn that one it's one I never covered so we're gonna go through some of the presets on this one on the clean channel we'll give you an idea what we've got so our phasers and our flangers now the flanger will stay the same uh, currently uh, consistently because Eddie kind of kept his his um, his flanger sound all through his career very very similar the phasers very very close as well too but we've got a couple things now that we're bringing into the mix. We've got some long delays. So the delay you're going to hear right now, if I go over to the rhythm channel, let's actually go there. I remember, you know, he was using salt coming in through uh, the Sammy introductory of the of the era, Van Hagar, if you want to call it that. Still using high, you know, high gain Marshalls, or I should say his his Plexis, I should say, going into Saldanos, and then of course the PVs. You know, they become very high gain eventually. So we're high gain. And then he started to experiment with a lot of delays and stuff like that as well, too. So we got our normal delay. And you can change the delay to suit your liking. Right now, I've got it you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 350 milliseconds. Just a nice... But if you want, you can jump over for his SDE 3000. that long 
Long delay, right? Okay, so we've got that long delay, which Eddie will throw on from time to time as well, too, right? And then we've also got, he started using things like this. You know, he'd start using his octave. Especially at the solos. So we've got the super, we've got the boss super octave in there. Then of course we've also got some, got to have some, some chorus. So they got the chorus, and the cool thing is you're going to find some differences in the chorus sound from the uh, Driving 55 preset up until the Van Halen Modern Truth because he was using uh, the MXR analog chorus back in that era, and sometimes even a little further back he was using the MXR, the yellow stereo chorus. He had that on his board from time to time, and I think that that pedal had a lot to do with what became the, the 5150 signature chorus from uh, MXR. So when you get into the Modern Truth preset, which I'm going to show you in a second, now we're getting into that realm of chorus. It's a little bit bigger in your face, a little bit more pronounced. So he doesn't use chorus too often. Um, Keith Paz, what's your favorite Van Halen solo? Uh, just about everything off a of fair warning. I think that's the safest thing to say. And I mean, if I was to say eruption or something like that, that's that's too, too given because it's its own song and it's a solo. But everything off a of fair warning. I mean, he was totally into this... Uh, Alan Holdsworth, he dove into that head first and was really coming up with crazy, crazy solo stuff that just, and I can even, I can barely play anything off that record as far as solos, and and that's and I feel good about it because he's a master on that record. So anything off of Fair Warning, I'd say Keith. So hopefully that narrows it down somewhat. He's just just like a Ferrari, like a Formula race car uh, at the brink of crashing into the wall and destroying the car and the driver but he pulls it off at the finish line. That's Eddie on that record. So I'm seeing some good feedback uh, on, the, on the tones. You know, there's a couple of people that don't like them, but you know what? This is subjective too, right? You know, it's not everybody's going to like this tone, nor do, I do, nor do I expect everyone to like it. There's purists out there that like a certain thing. I like, I like Coca-Cola over Pepsi. Someone likes Pepsi over Coca-Cola. It is what it is, and that's a good thing that where we can live in a world where we can, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, nicely disagree uh, you know, without having a fight about it, right? Um, fair warning it was, uh, Sar- yeah, it was Ed Sergeant Pepper. There you go. Um, and Scott Roos saying, "Fair warning is a fantastic album." Okay, so we have, so we're we're in the um, the rhythm mode of that. Defcon Clark, he's asking about the octave. I don't know exactly which octave I used. I'd have to go back. I don't have HX Edit open at the moment. It was probably just one of the the uh, simple octaves, whatever. But I did tailor it exactly to Eddie's settings, watching him, you know, watching his pedal board and using the the Boss Super Octave on my board for the longest time as well too. So I got it right down to the uh, right down to the the nuances, the best you can get without actually having that same pedal in the board. And I, I love I love that actual. <laughs> Now, one thing we haven't shown you, too, is, you know, because Eddie now is getting into wall a lot more, we've got, let me just move my pedal back a little bit. I'm using the Mission Engineering uh, Line 6 pedal, made for Line 6. (laughs) 
So there we go. Get some nice wah happening. And uh, <laughs> Brad says, my dad drank Pepsi, but I still like the tones. Um, what amp and cab did you use? So on, on um, uh, I'm going 412 pretty much, a standard uh, 412 on a lot of my presets. And here here again, too, I, I, I'm going to give you some generalized things because at the end of the day, yes, I do want to sell these presets. And I'm going with some uh, a PV Panama, obviously, for this tone, right? But I've got it dialed in exactly as he would uh, do it live. Now, here again, too, I don't sound exactly like Eddie. You won't sound exactly like Eddie. And the next person trying is not going to sound exactly like Eddie, even with his exact settings. It's just not going to happen. Even Eddie Van Halen probably, well, yeah, Eddie Van Halen's going to sound like himself, but he's going to sound, he's going to sound, he could sound like himself playing a pig nose or a, a, a rolling cube or, a, you know, a mesa or whatever, right? And uh, Shogun Warrior says, I loved Eddie's sound and balance as his earlier stuff. Yeah, and we get a lot of people coming through the channel, discovering the channel through the balance era. Um, just because, you know, younger generation a lot of times. And then they kind of go back and discover older catalog and things like that. Okay, so Keith is saying playing some pound kick. Yeah, we could do a little bit of that. <laughs> See, let me cue one up here for a second. See if we can do this. Let's see what we got. Now, you know what? I'm going to have to switch guitars for that, though. Let me do that real quick. Let me mute this because that's one of the nice things, The uh, one of the few nice things about the Sammy Hagar era is the fact that, you know, there's a range now, a vocal range that was a lot higher, tunings were different. So let's, let's mute the, the guitar. And here's the cool thing, as for some of you that have tuned in my shows before, I'm using the Line 6 Relay wireless for my, for my guitar here, but I also have another guitar, which you can see it there on the, on the stand. I know you can still hear me, I just pulled my headphones out. I don't have a long cord on this one. Just heard everything go extremely quiet, more quiet than it should be. I'm going to grab um, my Shuriken Variax, which is tuned, obviously, at all times to 440. And I'm using the Line 6 uh, VDI cable, so I can actually be running two different inputs to Helix, and I don't have to change anything other than just mute, mute my Helix over here, so it did make a popping noise. So let's see if we should be, we should be in tune. Yeah, Cabo Wabo. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay, let's see if I'm in tune with uh, Pound Cake, am I? Hopefully I am. Let's find out. I'm not going to play the whole song. Play a little bit, just to give you an idea.
So there you go. There's a little bit of pound cake for you. And hopefully that gives you a little bit of the tone as well, too. So we've got the wah going as well. And I'm just going to fix, i got to fix some cables here. I'm pulling this headphone a little too tight. And it's pulling right out of my head. we got uh, Guitar Hack is here as well, too. And Guitar Hack, right as soon as the stream is done, I got your phone number. Right after the stream, I'm going to call you. We're going to talk about that thing that you want to talk about. And I'll be happy to assist. Uh, let me see here. Let me see who else I miss. Uh, Scott says, I just got I just got an EVH 5300 watt to go with my Helix rack. Wet, dry, wet. Very, very nice. One of the things, if you're one of these guys like like you are, and like a lot of people out here like to do this, and I still do it from time to time. It's been a while since I've done it. But I like to run out. I, you, so if you can figure a path on your Helix, you've got on the Helix floor and Helix rack, you've got four sends and return, returns. You can send out one of those lines to go directly to your 5150 and just run effects like phasing, flanging, a wah pedal, chorus, that kind of stuff directly to that amp. And then run out of your left and right outputs of Helix, run to your your either mixer or your FRFR speaker systems like the Line 6 Power Cab or the, you know, a head brush or all those kind of systems or, you know, whatever you're using, right? Then you get that real wet, dry, wet. And which I do that sometimes. Sometimes I'll do different things. I'll either mic my 5150, and, which is running through the mixer, and then I'll run Helix, what like I'm doing to you right now through the board. Or if you look here, you can see it from time to time. Let me see here. It's hard to see, but I've got... Oh, I pulled my headphones out again. Hopefully, you can, I know you can hear me. I just can't hear myself or anything else. I've got two power cabs back there, one there and one there so what i do there is i run stereo for the effects and then i run to the 5150 sometimes for dry and bear with me i gotta plug this back in i gotta get better cables for my headphones uh andrea says sounds lovely that uh, that my amp is called pound cake very very nice um and shogun warrior says when i get a helix product i would definitely buy those presets from you thank you okay so what we're going to do here we're going to try something completely different here too i'm going to go back to uh, you know, an E-flat guitar. So let's put this guitar down. I hate to put this guitar down. And actually, we're going to do something different. We're going to grab we're going to grab a Wolfgang, all right? Sorry for hitting the microphone. And hopefully I'm still in tune. Now, I want to give you this example. We're going to jump now over to the uh, Van Halen Modern Truth preset, okay? So ba basically, we didn't go through the lead preset of this other one, but all it is is a much more gainy, loud volume, uh, you know, typical Eddie on steroids, right? So we're muted, are we? Or are we not? No, I don't have my wireless in. That would help. Let's mute that to save pops and clicks for you. Except I hit my microphone and make it just as bad. Wireless ready to go. Green says we are good. All right. R2 says Wolfgang. All right. Oh, my ears are so sore. Okay. I feel like I have nails in my ears right now. I really do. <laughs> So I remember earlier I was talking about the clean preset on the, on the Van Hagar era stuff. So now that I'm using a Wolfgang, watch this. I'm going to be in the center position, all right? So actually, let's stay, let's stay in humbucker mode. So it's, it's gainy, but it's not super gainy for Van Halen standards. I looked at the wrong camera. Sorry, I was looking at there. Let's go back over here. Now I'm looking at you. I'm sorry for being so rude and not looking at you. I was looking at the wrong camera. Okay, so let's, let's uh, bring that into the middle position. Now listen to what we got. Bring the volume back. That's for you, Nocturnal. Bring the volume up a little bit. So that's that's the Wolfgang using that. You can really clean it. So we're going to jump over now to Modern Truth. Same idea on clean. Now, there's a tone here. It's called half, 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 I'm just trying to get the word out, half cocked, which is like a wah pedal, partly engaged. I'm going to play you just a second, a little snippet of Van Halen here, okay? Let's see one second. Tokyo Dome. Just for a second. I want you to listen closely, you guitar players, guys and girls who are guitar players here in the chat, I want you to focus on the mids. Focus on Eddie's mids. 
and he's had this with his his high gain amplifiers from current back to about Van Halen three with Gary Sharon and that to a very I I it's not my favorite tone. It's not my favorite tone of his. I love the fair warning tone. I love a lot of other tones. Not my favorite tone, but it's his sound that was good in his head and in the long run I like it because Eddie's playing it. But this is okay, we're gonna go here. Let's jump over to Tokyo Dome. All right. And I want you to listen closely to She's a Woman and listen, focus in. You know what? Maybe let's not play that one. Let's, um, okay, yeah, that's probably one of the better ones to give you an example. Okay, focus in on the mid-range of this guitar. And it's I, I refer to it as either a nasal tone or a half, half-cocked, why can't I say that word? Half-cocked wah. So if you have a wah pedal and it's engaged just a little tiny bit and it has that filtery EQ kind of sound, that's what Eddie's tone has sounded like to me for the past multiple years. So listen to this for a second. Especially on the rhythm chunks right here. Okay, now... I'm going to turn the I'm going to turn the the, the half cocked wah is not on. And okay, now we also have to jump over to the rhythm channel. Here comes half. You ready? Here comes. That's off. Here's on. All right. Let's just try it in conjunction with the this the record. Um, Okay, no problem. Okay, I got I got your message here, Nocturnal. Okay, so let's try this. We're gonna try it in conjunction with the mix. All right, see how this works. Okay, so you get the gist of that as well, too. Do you hear that? There he is. Jason said that. It's, hey, buddy. So Jason's getting to hear these presets for the first time as well, too. And listen to the difference without that. Now, if I... So here it is without it. Now, it's still somewhat nasally, right? Because I've got my EQ set. You know, it's it, it kind of peaking some mids somewhat. But the way I describe it to most people, so I'm going to put a wah pedal on for a second. So you see that frequency? Okay, no, right in that spot. Right about there. It's almost like Eddie, you'd swear like he has his wah in his pedal board and it's stuck on something and it's engaged and you're still hearing. So something, you know, I'm, I'm exaggerating it a little too much here. Maybe more about this frequency. Okay, so let's turn it off. Let's put our, our uh, uh, half-cocked wah back on there. And then we go, of course, into our, our uh, big, uh, our big, you know, wet, dry, wet kind of. And here again, too. And he's using the super octave again. Modern Van Halen Eddie Live. Give you a little bit of kind of a sample of what it'd be like for a solo. Back to a normal delay.
Now, keep in mind, we're hearing modern Van Halen playing old Van Halen. Uh, Brad Miller, a uh, super chat for $2. He says, Eric, my share for the hard work. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. I thank you, too, because you've been one of my beta testers for the stomp versions of these presets. So thank you very, very, very much. I greatly appreciate that. Um, Shogun Warrior says, Eric, you have a really good ear to nail those tones like you have done. I appreciate that. Um, I It comes from several things. I'm always a person to give credit where credit is due. And uh, one person deserves some credit that's actually in the chat as well, too, if he's still here. But I've studied Eddie Van Halen for many, many years. I don't, I, I can't play the notes like he does. I, I, I try some songs. I come close. Some I fall flat on my face. But I know what he uses, and I know how to use what he's using to achieve the sound. So with Helix, I've got everything at my disposal, and I can create what I need by knowing exactly what he uses. So a lot of trial and error, a lot of playing with, a lot of sampling, a lot of kind of getting in that DNA of the wheelhouse of his tone. And you can do it with Helix. Um, I'm living proof that you can do it with Helix. If you're a Van Halen fan, you can get that um, with Helix. And that's one of the things I'm trying to help you do. I'll be selling something very affordably online, and it saves you a lot of fooling around. You know, And maybe you'll take my presets, and maybe you'll tweak them to, you, to maybe something different. But the cool thing is I'm trying to save you a lot of frustration to just pick up a Helix and start playing like Eddie Van Halen, You know, sounding like Eddie Van Halen if he's your hero the same day you get him. So... Very, very, very cool. But the second person is Jason Sedites here in the chat. Jason is a, is a very, very good friend of mine here in Canada, very well respected in the community, and he's been a major inspiration to me. Um, you know, when it comes to dialing in, uh, you know, tone. That's his. That's his whole deal, dialing in. And since how he's here, let's just say this. This is awesome. If he's still here in the chat, click on his name. Go check out his channel. He's like just a couple subscribers away. I don't know his number right now, but he's on the final hundred stretch to to ten thousand subscribers. We hit 10,000 back in November of last year, and I remember that feeling for the whole family. It's a very, very, very cool. It for a YouTuber, that's a cool feeling, and I want I I want him to to experience that, and he deserves that more than anybody. So please click his name, go check out his channel, and you won't regret it. He has great informative videos. Um, you know, not just for the Helix stuff. A lot of Helix, 99.9% of the stuff is Helix. But he'll teach you, you know, you know, you can learn how to play stuff, which is fantastic, and just very inspirational. Please do it. Um, let me see here. And, uh, Daniel says, well, they sound good with the cheapest Helix and one power cab. Yes. I've designed these to run in mono. Um, so they are going to sound better in a stereo environment. So you running out of your Helix with headphones is cool. If you want to run to a power cab, yep, that'll be fine as well too. There may be a couple things where a couple things where I've got, uh, you know, you listen to the uh, introductory album from Van Halen. You know, there's a lot of panning, right? You'd have like a dry signal over here and just the reverb or maybe echo over here. So there's that scenario. So you might lose some of that. That's the worst case scenario. Um, you know, make sure you're just running out the proper left or right. You don't want to have just reverb going to your power cab. But yes, the long story short to your question, yes, it'll sound good with power cab or head rushes or anything you choose out there that is your FRR, FR, FRR, FRR um, amplification. Um, you got it, Jason. It's the least I can do. Uh, and Keith says, your stream sounds great on my $5 computer speakers. And that's good. I'm happy. I'm happy to sound good on $5 computer speakers. I'm happy to if I sound good on a laptop because, you know, that's you know, I'm not a person who can master albums. Jason is and some other people that come through the chat here are, are great people when it comes to mastering and mixing. I can't really do that. I'm getting it okay here with Helix. But, you know, back in the day when I would do that, I'd go out to the car stereo, listen to my album, like a, or like, not my album, but I'd make a CD or whatever, or even sometimes a cassette tape, believe it or not, and I'd listen to see what it sounded like on a car stereo. Then they'd come in playing on the home stereo. Then they'd play it like in a little ghetto blaster or a portable boom box, as, you know, back in the day. People, some people don't even know what ghetto blasters are anymore. I'd listen to it through a Walkman, yes, a Walkman, and see how it sounded. And if it sounded good on all those mediums, then you know you're onto something good, right? So very, very cool. So let, oh good, we got a couple subs to to Jason. Ooh, fantastic, that's great. What what is the number, Jason? If you don't mind, I mean, if you're not, if you're not if you don't mind saying it, what is your number right now? Because last night you were at ninety nine hundred, and I didn't check it today. Uh, I'd really like to know where you're at, and uh, if you could comment in the chat, I'd be happy to see it. And I, I want to celebrate with you for sure. I'm really looking forward to that. All right, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take um, we're gonna what are we gonna do here? We're, let's tr let's try let's go back to the because Jason didn't get didn't get a chance to hear this one, and Jason is more of a guy for the most. Well, we got another another super chat. Gary Tholender, uh, have a Molson or a coffee on me. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you, Gary. That's, that's so nice of you. Thank you. 
Uh, Jason doesn't do as much high gain stuff as I do. He's it, and he sounds good not playing through high gain. I can't I can't sound very good through a non high gain amp. But what we'll do is uh, we'll play um, one of the vintage Van Halen songs for Jason with the Pasadena Proud preset because I don't think he got a chance to hear that one when he jumped in. So we'll try a little bit of. Um, uh, hopefully I'm I'm in tune. Let's go find this backing track. One second here. Okay. Uh, let me see here. It's under another folder. And then I'll play a couple of my songs to show how things can change for your own stuff. And you don't have to just use these presets to sound like Van Halen. 9920, uh, Dale Palmer says. 9920. We have 80 more subscribers to go. That's going to happen over the weekend. And I cannot wait to celebrate. I cannot wait. 80 more subscribers to go. I think if the way Jason goes, that could happen as early as tomorrow. I'm sure by the latest noon on Sunday. Let's get let's get those subscribers up for Jason. It's a wonderful feeling for sure. It really is. Okay, let's see if I got him in here. No, that's the wrong folder. It's under guitar. Probably under here general stuff. There we go. All right. Now hopefully I'm in key with this. It might be in. Let's find let's find out if we are. So this this one Jason is the old Pasadena Proud, which is Eddie's old Plexi, and uh, not very gainy, you know, which is hard for me to play on. Obviously, tons of plate reverb. Let's see if we're in tune with this. I'll have to wait till the bass comes in. We can try it. Let's give it a try. I'll mute my microphone, get rid of some of this hiss. And then we'll play one of my songs, which would be equal to be like one of your songs. And you'll know what some of these presets will sound like in, uh, in a mix of other music. Turn it 
Sorry, I was muted. I, my, my headphones are so bad right now. My ears are so sore. I could not even tell if I was muted or not. That's, that's how bad my ears hurt. Okay, we're going we're gonna to get rid of these headphones very soon. So Jason tonight says, what did he say? Oh, he's thanking for the subs. No problem at all. And he says, that sounds absolutely stellar bang on. You know, to me, honestly, when it comes to the Helix seal of approval, when Jason Sadai says something sounds good, like that's, I'm just going to end my stream tonight. When I'm done, I'm just going to say, okay, I've done it all. I had a fun, I had a fun stream. You know, I had great fun with all my friends and, and fans and all that kind of stuff, which is awesome. And then Jason Sadai says it sounds bang on. So he doesn't sugarcoat stuff. And I know he wouldn't say that if he didn't mean it. So Jason, thank you. I feel content releasing these. They're off to the they're off to the line six gods now. So thank you. That's that's so awesome. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're gonna take that uh, Van Hagar. I hate. I really hate using that term because I don't like the that. It, sure, Van Van Halen with Sammy Hagar was a different band, so you can call it Van Hagar if you want. I just don't like that term. But we're gonna go back to the Van Halen Driving Fifty Five type of a preset. And we're going to use it in conjunction with one of my songs to show you what it sounds like now. Um, yeah, I know. I, you know, I could. I could use my monitors. We could do that. Why don't we try that? So let's do this for a second. Yeah, Gary says, use your monitors. I will do that. I'm going to turn down. Okay. One second here. I'm going to get rid of these. Give me a sec. Okay, so in a moment, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to mute this microphone because I'll be cranking my reference monitors and we'll be getting feedback like crazy. So yeah, thanks for your patience on that for sure. All right, so I'm going to jump over to my music here. Give me one second. We're going to go over here. We're going to go to band songs. And we're also going to get, what do we have? We're going to go on driving 55. We're going to go on rhythm. We're going to make sure we have all the preset stuff on that we want. We do. All right. I'm going to turn up the volume just a little bit on my monitors for a second. Okay, so we're all good. All right, let's get a song ready to go here. Let's drop it down to D. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to mute this now. I'm going to crank this up.
Okay, so I had to bring the volume back on the monitor so we don't get feedback here. Um, ben Burnett wants to know when they're available for sale. Uh, the presets um, we the presets are going to be available as early as, quite possibly, this weekend. Um, registered and everything. I just have to wait for the my username and password and all that kind of stuff, and then they'll be available for sale. So watch 
If you're on Facebook, watch Facebook. If not, come back over here. I'll put a post on Facebook. Here on my YouTube, on my community page, I'll put a post here saying when they're available as well, too. Uh, just one second. I'll just say here. and I'll say almost done here because we're going to be wrapping up here soon. Awesome stuff. Okay, I'll play a couple more songs here for you. So they should be available for sale hopefully this weekend, very early next week for sure. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed them as well too. Uh, and Andreas uh, says, the great songs, Holy Smokes. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm going to mute this again. Actually, before I mute it, I'll keep talking for a second. We'll try one here called In the Sun. Make sure we're still somewhat in tune. We're pretty close. I think we can live with that. All right, I'm going to try In the Sun. Here we go. There we go. So yeah, there was a question about IRs, 
<laughs> there was a misconception. We thought uh, Nocturnal Butterfly was uh, mentioning something about IRS, and I wasn't sure if it was a typo or if she was saying the IRS. Uh, we don't have the IRS here in uh, in Canada. We have the Canada Revenue Service IRS, obviously, in the United States. But no, there is a question about whether we're using IRS or not. No, no impulse responses whatsoever. Everything is all cabs. And, and I've been an IR guy for a long time. I even bought the EVH Celestion, the G12 or the G, yeah, the G12, whatever, uh, from Celestion, that whole pack. And I've gone back to stock cabs. So everything we've got is uh, is now stock. So you're not going to need anything. When you would get download these presets and you get your Helix at the store, you're off to the races. So listen, it is 10, holy cow, 10 o'clock already. I didn't realize it was going to be that late. So we did about an hour and a half. It's pretty much our typical time that we normally do, even though this wasn't a scheduled show tonight. So I want to thank you for participating and joining in the chat, all these nice super chats, which were very, very cool. I can't thank you enough for that. Once again, too, um, subscribe to Jason Sedites. Get him up to 10,000 subscribers. We can do that this weekend. We're also trying to get Nocturnal Butterfly to 1,000. She's got a ways to go, but she wants to be able to do streaming. Obviously, there's this dumb, new, stupid streaming rule where you have to have 1,000 subscribers to do it natively on your mobile device. So we want to get her to 1,000. Click on her name. And uh, subscribe to your channel if you think you think you'll have fun, which I think you will. Some good stuff over there from humorous live shows Monday, Wednesday, and Friday each week to some cooking videos, recipes, all kinds of cool stuff. How to grow your own herbs and vegetables and things at home as well too, saving yourself and your family lots of money. All kinds of cool stuff. So tune in tomorrow for the new format for EV Agent Gear TV, which is now moving to Saturdays, 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific with tomorrow's guest, Ethan Broche, which is kind of cool. we got uh, brother and sister back-to-back. Ethan Broche tomorrow at 3 p.m. And the following weekend, we have his sister, Neely Broche, uh, both phenomenal guitar players. And I wanna, I'm anxious to talk about the sibling rivalry. They've actually played in bands together, many big bands. I'm curious to see how they work with each other, bouncing ideas off of one another and you know all that kind of fun stuff. You know what it's like with brothers and sisters, right? You're always competing against, what, competing against them and stuff like that. So... Um, the cost, Ben Burnett, they're going to be very, very affordable. Please don't quote, don't hold me to this. Um, Ben, cause I'm still working that out, but I'd be looking at probably about 13 bucks for the three presets. Okay. And they're premium presets. So I'm fe- I, I feel very comfortable with that price. I think that's what it's going to be at. So I'm just trying to keep it in the, uh, in the, in this, in that, in that neighborhood. So. Uh, thank you so very, very much, Jason. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really, really do. I felt like I had a great evening um, after hearing comments like that. So thank you. Uh, Texas Rides here. Thanks to the demo, Eric. I really appreciate that, everybody. Um, there you go. All right, guys and girls, thank you so much for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Don't forget, because it is a new time. I don't want you to forget. I'll try to send some reminders out there. Send the bat signal that we're live at 3 o'clock Eastern tomorrow. should be a lot of fun. All right, so I'm going to let you fly. Thank you so much. Happy weekend to you. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. All that good stuff. And uh, last point, yes, Ethan played on Michael Sweet's last solo album. He's amazing. So we just had Michael Sweet on the show. That that video is doing great, and we're really excited to see what's coming up um, with that Striper Tour, which kicked off tonight, by the way, which is fantastic. Everybody, rock and roll. See you real soon, and until next time. Cheers. Hey, you're still here? Eric Jr. here, reminding you to check out our full lineup of quality merch. Available right now in the Broadstash Boutique. Quality products and fast shipping. Visit Broadstash.com today. I am now on Patreon. If you enjoy my content and wish to support my channel and what I do, then please check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash TV. Your support assures the continued growth of this channel and a fun community in which to share our love for Van Halen, music gear, and much more. My name is Eric and I play fucking guitar. Video production services provided by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs. Microphones for EVH and Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones. And official Van Halen merchandise is provided by VanHalenStore.com.